my channel. So today we're gonna do a good old shop my stash. Um, so I have separated this a little bit. I've kind of tried to make as much space as I can in my little mini everyday makeup drawer. But over here I do have my project pan items because I did start a project pan this last month. So we're not gonna swap out any of this stuff. This should all be my current shop my stash aside from these two where I just have them in here and also my freckle pen wherever it is, the Nabla one. I have this in here all the time. So these obviously I'm not gonna be swapping out. I'm almost done with this Centella Calming Daily Cream and then I have my other sunscreens in here. I just, I, I realized that I didn't include SPFs in my skincare speed review video, which is really frustrating because obviously I do have SPFs and I also didn't include like lip masks or lip scrubs, which I do actually have. So uh, yeah, anyway, just know that I know that I forgot to talk about those because obviously this is more of like a skincare item, but I'm just gonna leave that in here. And then I am unofficially trying to pan this e.l.f. Jelly Pop, which I think I've spoken about before. So those are all staying in. Oh, and also my Beauty Bay Eye Base. I just pulled this because I've been using it. So let's get into everything else in here, shall we? I only use the Soul Bronzer from ColourPop a couple of times because a little bit of a dent going on there. But anyway, I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury. So I just decided, you know what? I don't really want to use this at the same time as I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury. I also spent some, you know, a good amount of time and maybe I just want to pull something out. So this one I will be putting back in my stash. Um, I have the MAC blush. This is the So Natural Glow Play. I have used this. I haven't used too much of it though because I haven't really been using a lot of uh, cream blush this month. I do like this, but I've been going for powder a little bit more. So I think I've probably only used this maybe five times. But anyway, we're just gonna roll back in because I have too many blush to uh, spend another month on that one. The Nabla Close-Up Smoothing Press Powder, I actually didn't end up using it as much as I thought. I still really love this. It is a repurchase of mine because I did roll in my Belgian waffle, which has this white powder in here, not white powder, but like beige powder. And then I also have my, uh, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder that I am trying to finish. So this one was kind of pushed to the side, but I did use it a fair amount, just not um, as much as I thought. And then I did pull these two blush. I actually used the Night Bloom blush a little bit more. This is like a cool tone, uh, lilac -y, lilac y pink color. It's very pretty. I've actually been really enjoying this. And then I have the Fresh and Peachy one which I, I mean, I feel like I could try to roll this into a project pan. I'm starting to form some something here and it's making me very excited. But anyway, um, so yeah, I think these are probably my two favorite color pop. Actually, they're the only ones I have left. So yeah, they're the ones that have, that have stood the test of time and made it through my many declutter videos. So I used those two. I've been using the Light Reflecting Foundation from NARS. It is an absolute mess. Um, so I have some, I don't know. I mean, some days I feel like this looks good and some days I feel like I have like more of a cake face. So I just don't know if this is the best formula for me. I'm still undecided. So I have to, after using it for a whole month, I'm still undecided. I just don't know if I like this. So I probably don't like it because I just can't decide. Uh, my Mac mascara is staying. I'm loving this. I think I'll probably buy this again. I'm really, really enjoying that. And then I have the Douglas All Glow Highlighting Palette. I've actually been using this um, a lot more than I expected to. I've been going into this highlighter quite a bit and there's quite a bit of disturbance. I've also gone into the blush topper. Um, I've gone into this one as well. This is the only one that I actually haven't really used, but I'm really pleased. I think actually maybe I didn't use the bronzer, but these other ones I did. And yeah, I'm actually quite pleased that I pulled that because I did get quite a lot of use out of it. And this one I got a lot of use. I've been slowly trying, um, getting in the routine of baking. I don't know, there's something about it. I, I like the blurring effect that it has under my eyes and I'm having a lot of uh, insecurities about the bags under my eyes and like all of the lines and stuff. So um, I've actually been using this to bake with. I don't think it's probably the best product to bake with, but I have been playing around with baking a little bit this last month and I've actually ended up using uh, this quite a lot, but 
there's so much product left, but I did actually use this way more than I expected to. And then this Essence Good Stuff Pore Minimizing Primer, I didn't get into it actually. <laughs> I didn't use this at all. I probably used this maybe three times in that. So yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't the month for me to use this. I don't know. So I didn't really, uh, and I don't care to keep it in. And then I have this one, the Nabla Close Up Concealer. Love this concealer. I really do like this concealer. I did roll in a concealer in my Project Pan, which is right here. The This one, which I actually had to take the stopper out and it took me, I had to get pliers to get the stopper out. It was so difficult. It was the most difficult stopper I've ever had to get out. So um, I've been going into this a fair amount because I want to finish it, obviously from my Project Pan. Um, so this wasn't the only concealer that I was using this month, but I did get a little bit more use out of it and I love it. And then the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. This is the second month it's been in and I think I'm gonna roll it out. I'm gonna roll something else in, but I did get uh, more use on it this last month than I did the first month. That's why I kept it in. Those are all the makeup items. And then in terms of eyeshadow, I only pulled these three, I believe, unless I'm, no, actually this wasn't in my shop mustache. Where's the other one? Because I know I pulled these two. I pulled the Killer Pro from Menagerie and I definitely use this a little bit. I went into Pride and I went into Lioness a few times, Chase a few times. I didn't go into every single shade, but I definitely got the shades that I wanted to. I, I don't think I went into like, maybe I went into Drought, but I don't think I went into Prowl um, for that bright, you know, pop of turquoise. I just wasn't feeling it this month, but I definitely liked more of the um, the grungier tones this month. So I really, really enjoyed that. I also did a look with this that I really enjoyed, but I don't have a good photo of it, but I'll put it up on the screen anyway. Obviously it's the Hocus Pocus 2 and I went into Havoc and maybe Come to Earth and then I used 29 years. Um, and then I put a little bit of candle is a lit and then I put the cursed green in my inner corner and I really really enjoyed that I think I dipped into this palette one other time But I'm glad I did like a full look with this palette. I really really enjoyed it and I I, I think Neutral with green suits me. I don't know. I'm just gonna go out there Grungy green. It's gotta be like grungy green. Maybe not like true green, but um, yeah, I do like this palette and I'm glad that I used it at least a couple times, especially for one specific look. So that was fun. Um, I keep thinking that this was in my shop, my stash, but it's not, but I have used this palette quite a lot. But actually the palette that I pulled from my shop, my stash is the ABH Nouveau palette. Um, yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> I hit pan in Paloma, which I'm very excited about. I think, did I speak about this? Or maybe this was right after my beauty bank video. I don't remember. Or maybe I did speak about this in my beauty bank. I don't, I don't recall. I don't know when I hit pan in this, but I definitely obviously hit pan in it. Um, yeah, I realize I don't, I don't care for this shade all that much, but, um, and I don't like Muse, but I went into Fleur, Isle, Paloma, obviously, and Wings a few times. Um, but didn't use every single shade, but definitely, obviously, I put some use into it because, you know, I have a pan and I really enjoyed myself. So that is always exciting. All right, so this is my first drawer. I'm wondering if I need to reorganize my makeup, but I do have a few new items actually that I did end up getting right at the beginning of April. I did do a little bit of an order on Beauty Bay, more specifically for hair products, but I did end up buying a few makeup items. I got the Revolution Skin Silk luminous serum foundation and I've been wanting to try this. I did try it once but I want to pull it for obviously the month and just get some more use out of it. Um, it's just a little pump and so far it's it, it looked nice but I only used it the once. It was the right shade though so that was fun. I'll just put my oops and I'll put this back and we want to pull, I do like the Magic Mist from Technique. This is a newer item that I just got January. I haven't used my MAC Fix. Hmm. Are these the only ones I have left? Yeah, they could be. Very well. Okay, so I don't have many. Okay, setting sprays. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull this one because I honestly don't have much left. So I'm going to put this one back. And then what else do we need to put back? We need to put my Essence Serum back. 
And in terms of another one, so I pulled this one day and I think I'm gonna pull it again for this month. This is the Glow Prime Radiant Primer from W7. It is tinted, but I naturally pulled for it, so I wanna get more use out of it. And I think another one that I wanna pull is my e.l.f. Putty Primer as well and get more use out of this one because, yeah, I've hit pan, so I kinda of wanna keep going. So yeah, I'm gonna pull these two. All right, I put my essence back. I will pull another loose powder. So I'm gonna pull the Laurie Mercier. I did talk about how I don't really like this powder. I don't really get it. But now that I'm slowly starting to bake a little bit more, maybe this will work, work a little bit better. So I'm gonna pull this in the hopes that I do enjoy it. Put my MAC back, and I think I'm gonna replace it with this one, which is another um, Go Play, but this is the That's Peachy one. And obviously it is this beautiful coral color, and yeah, we're getting into spring. A little bit more spring-like, so. Put this one back, and I think I'm going to pull the Milk Bronzer, because that's not the Milk Bronzer. This is the Milk Bronzer. Um, because I might have to declutter this at some point. So I think I'm gonna get a little bit more use out of it. But yeah, it's definitely starting to smell like Play-Doh. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this. I was thinking maybe I'll pull the ABH, but I really don't have any, I don't have any color to my face yet. So until I'm out in the sun getting a little bit of a glow, that's just too, it's just too like orangey for me. But this is a really nice neutral. I have the shade uh, baked so it's a really good shape for me and so I will pull that and then I don't want to pull I don't think I'm going to pull press powder just simply because I'm trying to work on the um, the essence banana powder and yeah oh another new item that I picked up is the Beauty Bay bronze blush and glow this is the uh, the lightest uh, face palette they came out with two I believe or maybe three and this is the lightest one Sorry, I'm, I have, there's a shadow. I have gone into this just once. I went into this blush, which was so pretty, and I did try this, but I haven't tried these two. So I'm gonna pull this, and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how I like it. I think instead of a highlighter palette, I'm going to pull a single highlighter, but I don't know which one, so bear with me. Maybe I could pull the e.l.f. one. This is the e.l.f. Multi-Dimensional Face and Body Shimmer, and I did hit pan on this, like two years ago. It's kind of like a putty texture and it still is fine. So yeah, actually I'm gonna pull this because it would be really exciting to see if, if it, I can change that pattern. So I'm gonna pull this one as well. Uh, bear in mind there is a obviously a highlighter in the Beauty Bay palette. So I'm not gonna pull any other highlighter. I'm gonna put these two uh, blush back and I'm going to pull, what blush do I want to pull? I think I'm gonna pull this. This is um, actually a highlighter, but it is a pink, like baked highlighter. And I'm gonna use that as like a topper shade just for potentially when I want to. This is from DLS, it's called Bellini. I think it's Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics, whatever that is. So I'm going to pull that. But in terms of a blush, I don't really know because there is a blush in that Beauty Bay. I kind of want to pull a different color blush than that one and there's two actually maybe I won't pull a blush because there are two there's the the peach one which I've tried and then there's this mauve one so actually I think I'm gonna just pull this and not pull a single blush yeah because I pulled the cream one so yeah I think that's gonna be it do I dare do I roll this in and try to finish it do I? Maybe for my project pack, not right now. I could roll this one in for a little bit of funsies. This is the one that came with the Hocus Pocus 2 and it's got a flip of green, so it's like not very wearable, but maybe inner corner stuff. I'm gonna pull this for fun. Pull enough here. Oh, I didn't pull any concealer. So let's have a look and see what concealer I want to use. I've been wanting to actually go back to the Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow. It's not really concealer, but I am going to pull this. And then I think in terms of an actual concealer that I want to use that I haven't used in a while. Oh, gosh. I've used them all. And let's, let's pull the Candid, the Candid Revlon. Let's, why not? Let's just do it. Um, wait, what is this? This is the one I just... No, this is the Milani one that I picked up in January and I didn't really care for it. But you know what? Do I want to, let me just see. 
it's just, look at that. Look how cakey that is. That is really, th that is a really thick concealer. That is just no good for my under eyes. I'm gonna pull the candid. So I did go into one of these glam shops the other day. I think it was this one, and it just didn't reflect very well on my eyes, but I think I'm gonna pull one of these uh, Jelly Munch from ColourPop. I think I'm gonna go for this one. I am calm um, because it's gonna kind of go with that highlighter that I just pulled and it's, it looks a lot of fun. I think I'm gonna pull this. I think I wanna be a little bit more creative with my shop, my stash this month. Um, we'll see if I regret it, who knows. <laughs> this one's really pretty. Do I dare, do I dare pull this one? This is a glam shop. It's, that's very pretty. I'm gonna pull this one as well. Maybe if I just use it once, that's absolutely fine, but I don't use glitter all that much. So let's give it a go. Do I wanna pull water activated liner? Not really, I'll just use it. When I, I'll use it when I wanna use it. Okay, so in terms of palettes, let's just get into it. I wanna pull at least one of these because they are new and I have barely touch them so actually should i just pull both of them i really just i want to get more use out of these especially since they're new and i just feel like i should pull them that's beautiful i'm gonna pull that one and then i'm probably gonna pull the monsoon because why not i kind of need yeah i'm definitely because you got those greens definitely okay so i'm gonna pull those two um i'll put my abh back i don't really have a system in place of where i put palettes anymore but um <laughs> That will do. I did actually spray them all and I disinfected them all like a week ago. So I'm very pleased with myself that I've been like keeping better care of them. Just because I live in a humid climate and it's been a little bit trickier to make sure that everything kind of stays okay. I think this one actually is in my project, my eyeshadow project, like year long one. So I need to put this back in the top drawer. And I haven't forgotten, I actually need to pull at least one other from my year-long Project Pan eyeshadow because that's really like a good way for me to get use out of them. <sighs> Looking in this drawer, I don't think there's, I'm just thinking, is there anything in here that I kind of want to get more use out of this month? I really like these tones. I really kind of want to go into the Virtuous Virgo from She Glam. I'm going to pull that too. Maybe we'll just pull a bunch of small palettes and then hopefully we'll get into them. Okay, so um, what do I want to do? Do I want to pull any of these? The Feral, the Feral. Do I want to pull the Feral for, no, I don't think so. Okay, so let's think, let's think about this. I could pull another one where I, I haven't used because I, I rebought this, the new neutrals from Gloss Gods. I ju I've just bought this again, and I haven't gone into it since I bought it. So I think I'm gonna pull this one as well, a nice neutral palette. Um, and then let's pull one other one. All right, so in here, um, I do have these normally organized, but there's just, sometimes these palettes are enormous and there's no space. But these are all of my year long palettes over here, right here. Okay, so just worked on this. I actually have been working on this quite a lot this last month, like I said. I thought it was in my shop, my stash, and that's, a, again, a reason why I was doing that. I think I'm just gonna use it organically because I have already been doing that. But let's look. So I also went into California Love. No, I didn't go into California Love. I've been into Schilling in Chicago a few times. Um, so what's a palette that I'm neglecting in here? I guess California Love. So I'm gonna pull this one as well, but another neutral, but like warm tone neutral. So we are gonna pull all of those and the makeup. It's not that much. I feel like I should have pulled a little bit more. It just feels like I didn't pull that much, but I kind of know myself and I just don't wanna overwhelm myself. And because I rolled in, I shot my stash now this month. I, again, definitely don't want to force myself to use too much. So let's go and do my makeup. All right, we're gonna go in with my sunscreen first because the sun is actually out. And normally I wouldn't actually put all this makeup on my face with the sun coming out, but we're here now. Um, I also have a few breakouts. I've been changing up my skincare routine and I don't know if my skin is really liking me right now. I exfoliated last night and I had like, I woke up with so many breakouts. I was like, oh, well that's great. <laughs> is that a good thing that I'm just getting rid of all the toxins out of my face or is, is it like a reaction? So I don't really know, 
but we're just gonna go with it who cares sunday today i i have to tell you i hate sundays like i love sundays like waking up on a sunday is so nice but then you get to like Sunday afternoon and you have the Sunday blues and they just don't go away because you just don't want Monday to happen. Like that to me, that like affects me so much. I wish it really didn't. I wish that I could just get away with it, but I can't. Anyway, with all these breakouts, I, we are gonna go in to a little bit of some spot concealing. You got, it's just not, it's not pleasant when this happens. Um, don't really have any topics. Like, I've been wanting to talk about certain things recently on my channel, but I just don't think I'm in the mood to do it today. So, that's gonna have to wait. But just know that I've been struggling. Like, I actually, I've been, like, really struggling. To the point where I just don't know if I'm gonna be posting anymore and... And then I'm like, no, no, I am going to post. And then I'm not going to post. I, I, I just flip flop between two different versions of what I'm really thinking. Actually, let me just lay that down because we want this. We want them to be covered a little bit. Let's go in to the Revolution Silk Skin, skin Silk. I've been enjoying this. So I just put it on my fingers and then I pat it down. I was trying to do it on my hand, but I just ended up getting so much product on my hands and I'd rather just blend it in with my fingers. You can't really go like this, right? So it's just kind of, um, but yeah, I've been, I've just had some like things that I really wanted to speak about on camera, but I've also felt like, well, I probably shouldn't. And so I haven't, but just really just to kind of like explain uh, where I am in terms of like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. So we're not going to talk about it. Anyway, we're just going to do my shot my sash. But just know, like in the background, yeah. Anyway, so I'm kind of testing this out because as I said, this was only the second time that I've used this foundation. I didn't put that much on my skin just now because I don't want to have too much makeup on. Uh, but I do want to do some sort of interesting look some of that glitter that we pulled today. I'm not entirely sure which palette. Probably one of the What's Up Beauty palettes though. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow because I'm obviously not glowy enough. So we're just gonna go in and maybe rub down <laughs> some of that stuff. I just don't know what this product does. It's probably something that I will enjoy more in the summer because it really doesn't have any coverage to it whatsoever. For some reason, I do enjoy it though, and I do like it. And it must be because of that glow. It's like an inner glow that it adds to the skin. It really doesn't have much pigment to it. Let's do cream bronzer, the milk bronzer, which I probably will be getting rid of at some point this year, just because it's never been something I've loved ever since I bought it. And so why am I going to keep it? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Bronze the nose, even though we don't need to. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to talk because I kind of want to talk about everything that I want to talk about, but I also don't want to. So like, what am I going to be talking about today? So I have, because I've been in a funk, I actually have ended up buying quite a lot of things. They haven't arrived yet, but I have uh, some things coming from the US. So they're probably gonna take the whole month to get here. And uh, some other things that, I think there's some skincare and some beauty items um, that I bought, some like K-beauty stuff, um, which is not gifted to me. I've just gone and bought it myself because I wanted to try some more stuff. So yeah, I'm thinking that I probably should end my beauty bank because I'm already in like negative 20, right? And we know this year, if you've been following that and following my updates, I have been buying makeup. I didn't buy any makeup in March, but I bought makeup right, right, right at the end. Well, I actually did, but then I received it in April. So um, yeah, 
<laughs> so I, I thought, you know, yeah, I went one month without buying makeup. It's kind of true. But then I went and bought loads of makeup and a lot of it hasn't come. And I think I'm just trying to um, fill a void and a gap, and which is absolutely fine. You know, sometimes you need that. You need that retail therapy. And I'm not going to hate myself for it. But yeah, that's happened. And I'm probably going to have to cancel that video because it's not really... I'm just not following the rules anymore. I'm really not following the rules. And what rules are they? Pretty much a low buy to no buy. And I think this year, like last year, I think I did pretty well with my beauty bank. Like I was up and down, but I was never like in the negative 20. And I even got positive a few months. And I, I, I was pleased with that. But I think we have to go with how we're feeling, right? And if I'm being completely honest, I'm just going up to the MAC one. If I'm being completely, which is really beautiful, by the way, if you can see, it's like such a, a like a, a light flush of color, really beautiful. Anyway, if I'm being really honest with myself, I kind of need that retail therapy right now. And I'm, you know, I'm not buying clothes or anything. Um, I did buy loads of books last year, but now I'm reading them. So I don't need to buy any books or anything like that. And I don't need this makeup that I'm buying, but I don't know. So just fair warning, I'm probably going to end that because it's it's kind of comical at this point because I'm going to come, if I, if I carry it on the end of this month and if I receive everything this month, I might not, but if I receive everything this month, then, then it's kind of going to be, it's going to be pointless because I'm going to be probably in the negative thirties and then what is the point after that? Like, why am I doing it? And if I don't feel like I need to do a no buy right now, then I'm not going to do one. So that's something that I've been thinking as well. I just don't want to force myself not to buy something just because I've, I'm doing a video every month talking about it and I have these points. These are arbitrary points and I don't. I don't really feel like following them right now. So uh, I think that's just where the, my headspace is right now. And I probably will go back to going on a no buy, low buy, but just not right now. I just don't think, well, at least not in the next month. I just don't, I just think I'm in that zone. I'm in that zone and that's kind of where we are. I'm going to try to somewhat do a bake. Don't judge me on my baking skills because I don't have any. Uh, but I don't know how to bake with this tiny little thing, but I do have one of these. Uh, I actually have a bunch of these, but this is the one that I've been using. I probably should use a different one, but we're just going to go in with the Laura Mercier. I'm just going to tab out all of that. because so we want this blurring effect. So I tell you what, I look so tired on these videos and I probably because I am. But who isn't? Like, we all have stuff to do. We're all tired and we're all insomniacs. Most of us. So. Alright. And I have... I have been going, like, here. It's so hard with this. Like, how do you get... you? I Like, I don't know how to get product on this thing. Like, I literally don't know how to get product on here. It's just not... It's not happening. The, these little mini things... The one that I want to try is the Huda Beauty one because everybody's been saying that it's really good. The new one, newer one. So we'll see. But anyway, it's not so much of a bake, but I will try to wipe off any excess in a few minutes. All right, we're just going to wipe this off now. It's been a few minutes and I kind of want to go to my eyes and zoom in a little bit. So we're going to do that now. All right. I don't know if it looks any different, looks any better. Let me have a look, let me, let's see. Let's see the damage. Oh, there's no mirror on this. Let's see the damage. Yeah, still wrinkly. So we're gonna go into the monsoon. I'm gonna go into dust storm and we're gonna just lay this all over the lids. It's a little bit darker than what I would like, but it's still fine. I think next we're going to go into Joshua Tree over here. So it's just more of like a taupey shade. Just going to put this over here. All 
All right, I will go in to the new neutrals from Gloss Gods because I want to go in to cute stuff, which is this like dark grungy green color, which these other two palettes don't really have. So we're going to go into this one quickly. So I am doing quite a smoky look, but I'm going to brighten it up with these beautiful shimmers. So let's have a look. In the geodes, we do have the shade, which is more like a blue flip which I might go into, but I think I'll probably do Citroen in the inner corner. So I think over the lid, I'm gonna see what Cactus looks like and also what Sun looks like. Cause I think these two, I'm just going to Cactus. This is not as uh, bright as the other one. So I'm gonna just put it on the outer part of my lid. Still keeping a lot of that grunginess, but having just a little, a little shine of green. All right, we're gonna go into Sun, which does have like flips of yellow. So I think this is gonna work out. And I also haven't been in this. Oh, it's quite gold actually. Definitely one of these flaky shimmers. Yeah, the other one is more of a shimmer. This is definitely, obviously, more of a metallic. But definitely, I'm leaning into these colors quite a bit more these days. I did notice in the new neutrals, there's this gorgeous color, which is called Never Shy. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. I have to put this on. So I'm gonna put this like in the middle. It has like a more of an orange. Oh, that's like metallic. That is that is metallic. That is just like a mirror. That is so smooth and so soft. Oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful. I'm so glad that I bought this again because I love it. I love it. I love it. I could, I could end up going into this one. I think I just wanted to do a green look today. Maybe underneath. Actually, this one would have been really good. Uh, yeah, maybe underneath. Let me just, let me do that. Let me do that. Which one, which one? Let me go into, this one's called Reliable from the Chic Lab. And I'm just going to go under my lid. Just trying to maybe go into all the palettes. The other one I'm not going into is the ColourPop one. All right, back to the geodes. We are gonna go into this one, Citrine, and we're gonna do that in the inner part of my lid. And I think this is going to tie the look all together and then we can finish my face. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous shade. Definitely grouping all of these palettes together was the way to go. I will try to do one looks with them though. So I want to make sure that they're not just companion palettes. But what is this? This is beautiful. This is what I was going for. This is what I wanted. I wanted this grungy, greeny, yellowy, whatever this is. Also, I did pull this. If you recall, I realize they don't match, but they are pretty. So, what is there to say? All right, next we're gonna go into this one. Let me zoom you out so you don't need to be super close for this. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Beauty Bay base palette. I've been wanting this for a good part of a year, and I just was like, no, you do not need it, but I, I finally bought it. Um, I obviously went into the peach color, so I am going to go into this peach color because I think it's just going to work out better than the mauve color. Uh, but yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, these are pigmented. I forgot because I only used this once. Yeah, these are pigmented, so be wary of what you do. I might have to go in with my sponge just a teeny bit because this is... And it's a little, it's a little much. Going with it just a little bit. Beautiful. Obviously, you do have the bronzer. <sighs> do I want to try the bronzer? Let's try the bronzer. Let's do it. Why not? Let's just go in. 
Let's do my forehead. Because it's just, it looks like it's okay, but it might be a little orange toned. I think again for the summer, it's going to look good. But for right now, when I'm pale, the rest of my body is super pale. It's probably going to look very noticeable that I have tons of makeup on. But we're just going to go in with this. I just thought it was really beautiful and actually wearable. It might look crazy on camera, I don't know, I'll have to see in the editing, but it looked really wearable when I first tried it. And I do kind of like that. I'm gonna go in, put some freckles on. All right, I went a little bit overboard with my freckles, but I'm gonna put some mascara on and then we need to figure out what we're gonna do with lips. Oh my goodness. You know why I love this mascara? Because I have really short eyelashes and for whatever reason, it makes them look longer than they are. <laughs> so I, I finally have found another mascara that I love. I love the YSL one, the, like the normal YSL one. Very expensive. This is also very expensive. This is the MAC, MAC Test, Mastec, Mastec, whatever. It is so nice. Maybe we try to do a brown lip because or maybe this. This is the Maybelline Lifter in the shade Stone. Oh no, this is kind of nudie. Oh, but I like this. No, I like that. We're going to stick to that. So let me just zoom you in. Let's see. You can see how bad these freckles are. Oh, let's do... Um, but anyway, let, let's see. This is the final eye look. It's pretty. I think it's pretty. I like it. Spray. Spray, spray, spray. those <laughs> um I, why do i feel like this part of my face didn't get any any spray okay all right I'll sit here i actually do have one of these things should i keep these in no i put them up because i wanted to you know have them away from my face because i always have my hair in the way i definitely it's like a wash day so i definitely like need to wash my hair <laughs> well you don't need to see the back of my head so <laughs> anyway this is my final look i'm actually i wish that i was going somewhere today so i could just show this off this is kind of fun i wanted to do a fun look and i'm still into my like green i like it like, the, like these grungy greeny yellows love it love it love it love it it could be a little bit wintry for this time of year but i'm all for it at the moment i don't really know I don't really know when my spring is going to happen, but the sun is here. I think this next weekend is supposed to be sunny, so maybe I'll finally be able to sit outside and have some sun on my skin because I just cannot wait. But anyway, that is my look. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put everything in my drawer now, uh, try to figure out how to fit it all, but I'm excited to use all of these. I obviously don't know how I feel about the newer items yet, especially obviously the Revolution uh, foundation i need to use that a little bit more i think the eyeshadow looked beautiful and dare i say it that gloss god shade the one i put in the middle it just it just took it to the next level so if you're sick of hearing about me talk about them i'm so sorry i'm sick of it too because i wish they weren't so good but yes beautiful anyway thank you so much hope everyone's well and i'll see you next time bye